838 now. Building hope by taking a walk. A 24-hour fundraiser is underway to help people battling breast cancer. Yeah, this event is bringing in support and survivors from all across the country. Fox Carolina's Myra Wayne, she's live in Greenville right now. Well, good morning. We are at Legacy Park where the pink... Uh, Paint the Pink Challenge is taking place. This is actually uh, Pledge the Pink Challenge is an event that happens every October along the coast. But this event taking place for 24 hours here at Legacy Park is kind of a warm up to that. Now, uh, this year, the event in October will actually take place at Oak Island. It has previously been at Hilton Head and Fripp Island, but it involves walking 30 miles over 30 days and last year this event brought more than 1400 participants there and it raised about seven hundred fifteen thousand dollars now the event taking place right now that started last night will go on for 24 hours and it too has brought survivors here including elaine mole who came all the way from st louis thank you so much for talking to us tell us a little bit more about your cancer battle well, I was diagnosed in 2007 after my mother, a two-time survivor, was diagnosed prior to me. Um, I went through lumpectomy, chemo, radiation, five years of tamoxifen, and here I am 16 years later. Yeah, so we're hearing that one in eight women will be diagnosed with this disease. Uh, what is it like to see this kind of support? Amazing, because without these events, I might not be here, and all the other people, too. I mean, the progress that was made just between my mother's diagnosis and mine is amazing. And some of the money raised will be used, or all of the money raised will be used to, you know, for support services and things like, like wigs. What are some things that other people may not recognize or realize that is needed when you're fighting cancer, breast cancer? Well, and, and it also provides mammograms for the people who are less fortunate, but getting people to and from treatment, um, food pantries, gas money, um, you forget about the caretakers too. Uh, cleaning services, all the day-to-day -day activities that we take for granted. Yeah, and it's also a time to remember some of the people who have passed away from breast cancer. We have some pictures of uh, Dina. Uh, Dina Moyers passed away back in September of 2022. She did battle breast cancer fought it for, uh, survived it, 15 year survivor, but then she ended up passing away from colon cancer. And again, uh, the American Cancer Society estimates that breast cancer will actually claim more than 43,000 lives, about 43,700 lives just this year. And it is the second leading cause of uh, cancer death in this country following lung cancer. But uh, so much is being done to raise awareness and money for this event. And we'll have a little bit more in the coming hour. Reporting live in Greenville, Maya Ruiz, Fox Carolina News.